Good morning everyone. In this video, we will discuss equation of a line in normal form. In our previous lessons, we have already discussed different forms of the equation of a line. Now, in this video, we will discuss a not so common form of an equation of a line, which is normal form. Now, let us try to discuss first the purpose of the normal form of an equation of a line. Commonly, we express the equation of the line in normal form if we wish to determine the distance or the nearest distance of the line from the origin. The equation of the straight line upon which the length of the perpendicular from the origin is P and this perpendicular makes an angle with x-axis is expressed as x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p. Now consider our illustration. So we have here our given line, which is line L. And if we wish to get the nearest distance of this line to our region, we have to drop a perpendicular line from the region to the line and let this angle be alpha which denotes the angle of inclination going to the perpendicular line so it's from the positive x-axis going to our perpendicular line and let its length be denoted by p now we shall consider this segment as directed the value of P is positive if our y-intercept is positive. On the other hand, the value of P is negative if our y-intercept is negative. Now let us discuss how to express an equation of the line into its normal form. Given the general form of the equation of the line ax plus by plus c is equal to zero, we will develop a method for putting the first equation ax plus by plus c is equal to zero into its normal form which is x cos alpha plus y sine alpha is equal to p. In this problem, we will consider two cases. Case 1 and case 2. For case 1, if b is equal to 0 in our general form of the equation of the line, the normal form is obtained by immediately solving for x. And that is, if you have ax plus c is equal to 0, solving for x, we will have x is equal to negative c over a. And for the second case, if b is not equal to 0, in our first equation or in the general equation of an equation of a line, to reduce the general equation of the line into its normal form, we divide through by positive negative square root of a squared plus b squared using the sign of b in front of the square root but transfer the constant term to the other side of the equation. So basically, we will just be dividing every term with a value of positive negative square root of a squared plus b squared. So let us have our normal form, which is written as ax over positive negative square root of a squared plus b squared plus by over positive negative square root of a squared plus b squared is equal to c over positive negative square root of a squared plus b squared. Now let's have the first example. So in the first example, we are asked to reduce the equation 2x minus 4 is equal to 0 into its normal form. Find its perpendicular distance from the origin. So we know that this type of equation will be under case 1 since we don't have a value for b. So basically, we'll just be solving for x. So we have here 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. 
Next is we transpose negative 4 on the other side, making it positive 4. Next is dividing both sides by 2, we'll get x is equal to 2. Now, if we are going to graph this equation x is equal to 2 on our Cartesian plane, we will have this line. If you can observe, the distance of the line from the origin can be easily determined, which is 2 units, which is also represented by our equation x is equal to 2. Now let's have the second example. For the second example, we are asked to reduce x minus square root of 3y plus 8 is equal to 0 into its normal form. Find its perpendicular distance from the origin and the angle between the perpendicular and the positive x-axis. So first of all is we have to graph our equation of the line. Now one of the quickest way to graph an equation of the line is finding its intercepts. So first is we we'll look for its x-intercept where it will pass through the x-axis. And we know that for x-intercept, the value of y will always be 0. So assuming that the value of y is 0, we have x minus square root of 3 times 0 plus 8 is equal to 0. Multiplying square root of 3 times 0, we got 0. So that is x plus 8 is equal to 0. Transposing 8, and we got x is equal to negative 8. Next is we solve for the y-intercept. So for y-intercept, we assume that x is equal to 0. So substituting this value in our equation, will have 0 minus square root of 3y plus 8 is equal to 0. Now, transposing 8 on the right side, we'll have square root of 3y is equal to negative 8. Next is dividing both sides by square root of 3. So we'll have y is equal to negative 8 over square root of 3, or that's approximately negative 4.62. So now, let's try to graph our line. So that is this line. So we have first our x-intercept, which is negative 8. Next is we have our y-intercept, which is negative 4.62. So in this line, basically what we are asked to do is to get the normal form of the equation of the line. Next is to look for the perpendicular distance from the origin going to the line. And lastly is to look for the angle from the positive x-axis going to our perpendicular. Now let's proceed with our solution. So to reduce x minus square root of 3y plus 8 is equal to 0 into its normal form, we have to follow the following steps. First is we have to solve for the value of positive negative square root of a squared plus b squared. Next is to transform the equation into standard form. Then dividing every term of our equation by the value of positive negative square root of a squared plus b squared. Next is to reduce the equation into its normal form. And when you have the equation into its normal form, you have to determine the value of p, cos alpha, and sine alpha. Next is we will solve for the value of alpha. So let's start. So first is we have to identify the value of A and B. So A is positive 1, B is negative square root of 3. So we will use this to get the value of positive negative square root of A squared plus B squared. So substituting these values will have negative because the sign of B is negative square root of 1 squared plus negative square root of 3 squared. Next is to simplify the values inside our radical sign. So we'll have negative square root of 1 plus 3. Adding 1 and 3 will have square root of 4 
getting the value of square root of 4 will have negative 2. So therefore, the value of positive negative square root of a squared plus b squared is negative 2. Next is we will transform our given equation into standard form. So we'll have it as x minus square root of 3y is equal to negative 8. Next is we have to divide every term of the equation by the value of positive negative square root of a squared plus b squared, which is negative 2. So we have it as x over negative 2 minus square root of 3y over negative 2 is equal to negative 8 over negative 2. Simplifying it further, we'll have negative x over 2 plus square root of 3y over 2 is equal to 4. And this is now the normal form of the equation x minus square root of 3y plus 8 is equal to 0. Now from these equations, we can extract the values p is equal to 4. That means the distance of the line to the origin is 4 units. And we also have cos alpha coefficient of x so you have negative one half and for sine alpha we have square root of three over two now to get the angle between our positive x axis and our perpendicular we are going to use the trigonometric function tangent alpha so given here we have our trigonometric identity for tangent alpha which is equal to sine alpha over cos alpha we will substitute our values so we'll have tan alpha is equal to square root of 3 over 2 over negative 1 half now dividing these we'll have tangent alpha is equal to square root of 3 over 2 times negative 2 over 1 Simplifying it further, we'll have tangent alpha is equal to negative square root of 3. Now, next is to get the value of alpha. So, we'll use the inverse trigonometric function. So, we have alpha is equal to inverse tan of negative square root of 3, which is equivalent to negative 60 degrees or simply positive 120 degrees. That means the angle from our x-axis going to the perpendicular is 120 degrees. Now let us have the next problem. So on the next problem, we have reduce 4x plus 3y minus 10 is equal to 0 into its normal form. Find its perpendicular distance from the origin and the angle between the perpendicular and the positive x-axis. So we will do the same steps since this problem is under case 2. So let's start. So first is we have to graph 4x plus 3y minus 10 is equal to 0. So first, looking for the x-intercept, assume that y is equal to 0. So we'll have 4x plus 3y minus 10 is equal to 0. And that becomes 4x plus 3 times 0 minus 10 is equal to 0. And this simplifies to 4x minus 10 is equal to 0. And transposing negative 10 on the right side of the equation, that becomes 4x is equal to 10. Dividing both by 4, we'll have x is equal to 5 over 2 or simply 2.5. Now, on the other hand, we also have our y-intercept. Now, let's assume that x is equal to 0. So, that becomes 4 times 0 plus 3y minus 10 is equal to 0. Simplifying it further, we'll have 3y minus 10 is equal to 0. Transposing negative 10 on the right side of our equation, we'll have 3y is equal to 10. Dividing both by 3, we'll have x is equal to 10 over 3 or that is approximately 3.33 now if we will graph it on our cartesian plane so our x-intercept is positive 2.5 and our 
y-intercept is 3.33. And this is the graph of our line 4x plus 3y minus 10 is equal to 0. Now let's start with finding the normal form of the equation of the line. So we have a is equal to 4, b is equal to positive 3. So first is we will look for the value of positive negative square root of a squared plus b squared. So substituting these values will have square root of 4 squared plus 3 squared. Simplifying the values inside our radicand, we'll have square root of 16 plus 9, and that sums up to 25, getting square root of 25 will have 5. Next is we have to transform our equation 4x plus 3y minus 10 is equal to 0 into standard form. So from the general form, 4x plus 3y minus 10 is equal to 0, we'll have it as 4x plus 3y is equal to 10. Next is dividing each of these terms by 5. So we'll have 4x over 5 plus 3y over 5 is equal to 10 over 5. And this simplifies to 4x over 5 plus 3y over 5 is equal to 2. And this is now the normal form of the equation of the line. Next is we'll extract the values of P, cos alpha, and sin alpha. P is equal to 2, cos alpha is equal to 4 over 5, and sin alpha is equal to 3 over 5. Now we have here P is equal to 2. That means our line is at 2 units distance from our origin. Now getting the value of alpha or the angle between the x-axis and our perpendicular, so we'll have tan alpha is equal to sine alpha over cos alpha. Substituting these values, we'll have tan alpha is equal to 4 over 5 over 3 over 5. And that simplifies to 4 over 5 times 5 or over 3, which is equivalent to 4 thirds. Now, getting the value of alpha, we'll use inverse tan of 4 thirds, and that's equal to 53.13 degree. And that's the end for this video. If you have questions, Feel free to message me on Hangouts, dchua at isat.edu.ph. Goodbye, everyone!